Dear brothers and sisters, yesterday we celebrated the memory of all the saints of the church who were the fruits of the Pentecost, of the coming down of the Holy Spirit. And today we enter into the great uh, fasting of the Apostles, the St. Peter's Lent. It will be about two weeks this year and uh, we will uh, be willing, we will be thinking how to get to the, on the footsteps of the Apostles and of those saints so that we can uh, do our ministry to our Lord Jesus Christ better day by day. Today I am uh, in Guam. This is a uh, mission. Next video I will uh, uh, say more about Guam, about the mission here in Guam. Uh, today I want to say about uh, what is uh, to become a saint in terms of uh, what do we avoid by choosing salvation and Jesus Christ. Because some people say, well, I don't know when I will die and it's far away. Uh, so uh, why should I uh, worry now about my salvation? Uh, well, <clears throat> the problem is that salvation is now. From what? This is what I wanted uh, to talk about. We are saved from devil, from destruction. And this destruction is uh, um, its more specific than we think. It's very concrete. It's not abstract thing. And the whole world is on the path of this self-destruction. And uh, also with this uh, great reset that is happening now, many people are thinking, what will the next world will look like? Okay, we will have a new uh, anti-utopian uh, world. What is it going to be like? Is it, do we going to have a great uh, elite that will control everything and will have uh, like uh, cyberpunk? Okay, or people who have uh, no property, nothing, and uh, they will be just resources. Okay, uh, there are different uh, theories about what the future will look like. <coughs> uh, uh, people talk about it from social, political, economical point of view. I want to t uh, say uh, from spiritual and from psychological point of view today, because uh, uh, devil wants people to be destroyed, but when he doesn't succeed, when he cannot make us uh, just rush like those pigs, you know, rushing from the precipice into the uh, ocean and uh, dying, okay, he cannot m make us, um, okay, have, uh, make us destroy ourselves right away, immediately. He is uh, at least trying to uh, make us psychologically unstable harm ourselves and all of this we can call it um, corruption mental psychological spiritual we can call it the retardedness okay being retarded not just mentally retarded but in many ways retarded it's also called degeneration okay somebody is a pervert okay somebody is uh, his personality is destroyed his mind is perverted okay he is cracked okay some people are telling now us that these computers that we use this uh, uh, social networks and uh, everything else they uh, uh, hack okay. it's, a, it's a hacked mind okay your our mind is being hacked okay and um, uh, what kind of uh, retardedness what kind of uh, we, we need to be humble enough Okay, to say, well, I am myself retarded, I am myself perverted, corrupted. Okay, if we have the courage and the humbleness to say that, to acknowledge that, we can, uh, we can try to find a path out of this. And we will see that this retardedness, this uh, perversion, this uh, degeneration is now in everybody. Okay, everybody has it to a different degree, in different way, but we all have it. And this is the result of devil dragging us in that direction. Usually we think that, okay, a person, he grows, he is developing, he is learning new things, he is becoming more smart, more experienced, uh, he is uh, progressing, he has a progress. But uh, in reality, we can see that uh, 
uh, compare it to young children who are more very often more honest more sincere more uh, less selfish okay uh, they are uh, fewer hearts okay they are not corrupted okay not stingy but <clears throat> as they grow okay as we grow we become more and more um, evil okay we become easy uh, to get angry we become uh, more uh, concerned about money okay more stingy okay we become egoists we uh, and we also get mentally retarded okay uh, many even professors okay um, if they have this uh, relaxed life and they um, <coughs> they don't care about their spirituality they become stupid okay uh, many people uh, like that they they have uh, doctorate degrees but they're stupid they, you, th th there is nothing you can talk about with these people okay nothing serious okay only you know drinking or something else with girls the, the, why because people get retarded okay it's a degenerate corruption that's going on okay <clears throat> and uh, the world that uh, they want to have this world well we also have this uh, process of corruption going on in the church we need to uh, acknowledge that and uh, other uh, confessions uh, okay and uh, sects they are even more retarded okay more uh, corrupted than, than uh, the true church of christ but we have that process also going on okay so this new world as they see it um, basically uh, the uh, elite and uh, the people who are guiding the whole world now okay influencing the, making big decisions most of them are occultist okay are mystics okay and uh, they are very often instruments of devil okay so the prog projects they make for the world development uh, the um, <coughs> ideals that they have for our future are inspired by devil very often i don't say 100 percent but very often from what we see from what we see from these uh, what what happens in the world and what's uh, promoted what's developing what we see in the movies in the news in the internet everywhere um, the the big conspirator is devil himself but people they sort of uh, comply to to his uh, ideas and to his direction so what uh, uh, they want to have basically they want to have a three-tier system okay the devil wants okay uh, elite has its own form of uh, corruption degradation then uh, regular people like you and i okay most people normal people who have still family values and it's another way of uh, degradation okay they have and uh, people who have more serious okay who are below like marginal people okay who are pushed into poverty or into something else those people have their own form of degradation and today i want to say uh, what kind of degradation it is okay so that we can see it in our daily life in ourselves in people around us and we can uh, uh, tell them what exactly is christ is going to save you from okay so now uh, the uh, elite, okay, the elite, well, all of these, all of these three segments, they have some psychological problem, okay? The degradation is, uh, has spiritual aspect and psychological aspect. Okay, so this elite that we have, they um, believe that they are enlightened, okay? The, the devil, he is very uh, tricky, so he uh, is making them think that they are enlightened, uh, but this is fake enlightenment okay they think that they are smarter than everybody else everybody else is just uh, biomass is just uh, okay uh, animals pigs uh, okay uh, this is how they see th the rest of the people okay uh, but they have some super smart things and ideas <coughs> this is of course um, a deceit from devil okay that's why they like all these mystical cults okay this uh, uh, three masons and uh, uh, kabbalists and uh, others they have uh, 
okay, we have some secret knowledge and we are chosen, we, ha we, we will have all the power and they do have a lot of power, okay, <coughs> without God, okay, and uh, uh, these people, they uh, uh, think that they know everything and they are smart, okay, uh, how do we know that this is fake, that this is actually a degradation? Because this comes together with sexual perversion, okay? Most of these people, uh, they have really serious, it's either uh, doing with a child, with children, okay, pedophilia, or it's some other sexual perversion, okay? Sodomy and uh, animals and what, what not, okay? I don't want to talk about it. This is uh, like really perverted things, okay? So, <coughs> and this is uh, made, of course, in the status of a super uh, high class thing and stuff like that. But uh, we can tell from this that this is exactly against God's will. This is exactly what Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed for. Okay, so this is marking that uh, these elites, so called, that they are perverted and this is serious degradation and they receive revelations but they come from devil <laughs> they don't come from God or from some good source okay? so <clears throat> this is one thing the elite has its own form of degradation general people who don't have all these resources and monies and, and stuff like that uh, what, uh, what's the problem with us? Okay, with us? Uh, we have all kinds of um, uh, social, social and um, psychological uh, abnormality. Okay, maybe we're not crazy. We, we, we're not crazy, but we have, we are nervous, um, easy to get angry. Many people are in depression, in uh, some loneliness, uh, lack of um, mood. Okay, apathy. Uh, many people have um, desires developing uh, towards something towards watching TV towards uh, going in social media okay always have to look there uh, or drinking smoking uh, also sexual things okay uh, come up and uh, uh, we can see that these things reliance on something uh, slowly day after day are making us worse and worse if we don't live without Christ okay we don't notice it because it's going on very slowly day by day by day we are slipping further into slavery okay it's slavery of our passions we want to have more comfortable life we become more lazy we become uh, more uh, willing to get some excitement um, okay some fun some entertainment and many other things if we don't have god in our life if we don't uh, pray uh, okay we also lose <clears throat> why uh, this uh, time uh, like 95 percent of people don't pray at all if we look uh, back two three hundred years ago like almost everybody was religious maybe there are wrong re religious but the people they knew that they need to pray they need to, to communicate with the heavens with the okay <clears throat> uh, they they felt this but now people don't feel it they drink uh, drinks eat uh, they, they, they okay they don't need any spiritual c component to their lives what does it mean it means that the whole humanity is degrading okay this degrade corruption is going on on the large scale okay so this is what we're dealing with um, then um, yes uh, also another mark uh, that's coming with it uh, believing in astrology and numerology and all kinds of superstitions all these things okay are coming uh, together okay when we see this in ourselves in other people uh, that means that we are on this path of degradation uh, we have perverted religious um, feelings and ideas okay this is serious this is this is corruption okay we're becoming more and more uh, abnormal crazy okay <coughs> and the lowest level which uh, uh, will get bigger and bigger 
and eventually majority of people will be pushed into that low level. That's complete craziness, okay? People are super crazy. Or they have completely a lack of any moral things, okay? They have, uh, they live with uh, different people every day, okay? Th th no morality. Uh, become very stupid, okay? Cannot think. We can see even now uh, from the music, from the dances of the young people, how they dance, how they think, how they make decisions. It becomes uh, not like animals, like bees. Like everybody is running somewhere, people running the somewhere. Everybody is jumping, you become jumping, okay? Lack of any I intellect, okay? <clears throat> of course, it can uh, have different uh, manifestations, different ways of uh, expressing it. But basically, uh, people call it uh, cyberpunk, okay? That uh, people will get into cyberpunk, will, uh, they will live in this uh, digital reality, in cyber reality, uh, okay? They will have all kinds of computer games and, uh, and that. But it will be like really uh, like a garbage world, okay? <coughs> and uh, uh, they will be against uh, something, so they will be punks, okay? They will be like hippies. But uh, in reality, it will be not cyber punk. I would call it cyber trash, okay? People won't be against, okay? People, most people will be just that, just. Uh, it's not because people are trash, okay? People are not trash, they are precious, everyone. But they, uh, this environment, this lifestyle, this uh, education that, uh, it's of course not education, this uh, upbringing that they will have will try to make them trash, okay? Their goal will be to make them trash. So you know, this cyber trash world, okay? This, there will be elite and more and more cyber trash okay and of course maybe some people in the middle but eventually they'll be falling down to this cyber trash thing so <clears throat> this is the idea of devil for the future world maybe after 30 50 years okay this is the picture and uh, uh, now what we can do we need to be humble enough to acknowledge ourselves that i am going on the path to cyber trash okay and i don't want this how how can I avoid it? Only with Christ. I can become, I can walk in a different direction. And I can help people around me also to go in a different direction. What direction? The direction of the saints. Direction of the apostles. Direction following Christ. Receiving life from Him. And having, healing my wounds. And becoming more and more, okay, uh, <clears throat> Uh, virtues, okay, um, losing fat, okay, uh, not not just fat, uh, real fat, spiritual fat, okay, uh, becoming more champion of Christ, okay. Uh, Apostle Paul is telling us, run towards this goal, so that you can uh, become champions and receive the crowns from the Lord. This should become the goal of our life, and uh, we should uh, help others also to come to their senses and to see what's going on, where are we going. It's not just, just uh, okay, the world is being pushed in that direction, especially now with this uh, great reset. And we need to be aware of what's happening and uh, prevent this development, because it's only through us that uh, the world, Christ can uh, change this world and he can uh, break apart these uh, plans and um, change the world for the better. May his kingdom come, may us avoid uh, these traps, okay? So <clears throat> some people think sins, uh, the church telling me about sins that I cannot do this, cannot do that, it's making my life difficult. No, <laughs> the sin is what? Sin is a trap that uh, uh, the devil is preparing for us, okay? And uh, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. We pray that the Lord will deliver us from these traps, because well, once we get into some trap, we, uh, we uh, <coughs> sin, we are going level down on that uh, corruption degradation thing, okay, process. We become worse, we become more corrupted. This is what's going on, okay? So 
<coughs> the church is uh, hoping that we go in another way okay we don't go down we don't drown we receive rescue and salvation from our lord may the lord help us give us strength uh, eagerness to walk into that direction no matter how difficult how tough it may be we see the goal and we have the uh, love towards christ and we <clears throat> try to break apart our old self and become in christ with christ to his glory uh, follow this path of the saints may the lord help every one of you and give you a rich blessing i mean <laughs>